Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Dale and welcome to another episode of Clash Clans. I know I just did one it was two days ago. Um, but I guess it's about time to do another one. But anyways, um, the reason I'm doing it actually is because it finally did come out on um, in the US or just all around the world probably basically. Um, at least I know of, I'm not sure. But it finally came out so I, in I installed it again. Or I uninstalled the uh, APK, or I guess it's still APK file, but the download of file from the internet i un uninstalled it and then installed this one and um i was able to still keep my calendar working on so that was a good thing and since i did that i have um um i did buy um a bunch of workers um so i do have five workers now um this is only that's only it's, i spent thirty dollars doing it but that thirty dollars, the only thirty dollars I'm spending on this game, I'm not gonna buy any more gems for this game or whatever. Um, so basically, we're just gonna work on the base from now on. And now that I have five workers, um, I've been upgrading a lot, everything a lot faster, so that's good. Um, um, everything ended up getting to level six, or um, at least my my gold mine and my elixir collectors, we're both all level six. So and um, the gold storage is, or that storage and elixir storage is level six too. And so I haven't had any, I didn't have any more workers to use on anything because everything's pretty much upgraded all the way, um, except for this. But I didn't have enough money to upgrade the cannons yet, but I do now. So I ended up going ahead and just upgrading to the town hall to level four. So the town hall is upgrading to level four right now. Um, and then also I started upgrading the walls, but um, I didn't have enough to keep upgrading them all because they cost a lot of money for show. Sure. Um, because it costs 1,000 to upgrade, another 5,000 to upgrade to level 3. Um, seems like the walls are a lot more expensive in this one. And then I also started, um, researching, um, the goblin, um, just for the fun of it, just because I didn't have any other troops to do. But actually, um, I'm able to research the, um, oh wait, no, man. But I did finish upgrading my barracks level 5. Um, so those both are level 5 as well. Um, once I have enough money, I am going to do the clan castle. Um, somebody said that they, uh, there was a clan in here already called Druid Army. Um, so I don't know if we're going to keep Druid Army or not for the sake of it. But if I click, I'm trying to find it. Search clans. But he said some other YouTuber already had a Druid Army, so there's that one. So I'm not sure who, it's another YouTuber, so I don't know what YouTuber it is. Who is the clan leader? How do you see that? Hmm. I don't know. Clan elder? Clan elder, clan leader, Fusion Joy. Oh yeah, Fusion Joy. Oh, yeah, I've seen this channel. Okay, yeah, I have seen Fusion Joy's channel. I've, I remember looking him up. Um, so yeah, I guess that guy. I did see his. Uh, I saw his channel. I saw a couple of his videos. Um, so yeah, I didn't know that it was gonna be him actually. But Fusion Joy, I guess that makes sense. Joy Army. Um, I'm not sure who got the idea first, but uh, um, I don't know. Whatever. I actually didn't think of that, but. Um, maybe we'll join the join called I don't know, we'll figure something out. We'll figure something out, guys. Unless you have any suggestions for a clan name, let me know in the comments. But uh Um so yeah, once I have forty thousand I'll um do that, make a clan based on um the suggestions. Um we'll pick a name from the comments or whatever, just because Jordan Armory is already taken. And um basically just been upgrading everything else. Um so what I'm gonna do since I actually have Money to upgrade this cannon. I'm going to start upgrading that one to level 4. And I think nothing else can be upgraded besides the cannons. There's the archer towers done. The mortar, I don't think you can upgrade yet. And have both the army camps at level 3. And the barracks are as far as they can go. My cat is sitting next to me and he's watching me talk. It's really creeping me out. Um, but yeah, pretty sure everything's upgraded all the way. You'll just see my 5 worker outs right there. 
But yeah, I'm not spending any more money on it. Except for these two gold storage as well. I forgot about them. I'm going to upgrade these two. Because these two were the new ones, so I have to upgrade those. But I did catch up with the uh, collector. So I think that's it. And then the rest just the walls. Um, the walls are expensive to upgrade. It's going to be interesting to keep upgrading the walls. Um, but once the um, town hall is done, we'll be able to add in or upgrade everything else more. And we should be able to a lot more stuff too. I don't know. I'm sure a lot of you guys know more about this game than I do because I'm sure a lot of you played it before on your iPad or iPhone or whatever, but I haven't yet, so it's all new to me except for I did play it a couple times on my dad's little iPad for work, but um, not that much. So basically, what I've been doing is just upgrading everything as far as they can go, and then once they're all done upgrading as far as they can go, upgrade the town hall. Um, I'm trying to do that with the walls too. Um, but, say so I wish you could select the row and then upgrade the row like you can in Castle Clash. So all you can do is select the row and then you can move the whole row. That's still nice because it helps when you're um, editing your base. But if you could upgrade the whole row, row at the same time too, that would be uh, pretty cool. But um, basically I'm just going to uh, keep upgrading the walls um, as much as I can. And... Whenever I have like spare gold that I'm not using, I'll probably just start upgrading walls. But right now, I'll just upgrade these guys to level two for now. Um, but because they can only go up to level three, obviously I can't upgrade until the town hall upgraded level four, and it costs five thousand to upgrade them, so I'm not gonna upgrade those yet. But um, hopefully we can get another another um gold mine upgrade to level town hall four. Okay, good. We'll be upgrading. Another one of those. And then gold storage, we can't get to level 8. Which is good, because then I can just concentrate on upgrading these two, these four storages first. And then after that, we'll be good. Um, I hope you guys can hear my voice okay. I don't know what the sound's looking like here, but... Um, so yeah, that is basically all I've been doing. And then once um, I can get to ground Town Hall 4, I'll be able to upgrade that to level 2. So basically, just going to keep upgrading everything until it can't be upgraded anymore. Um, and then once they can't be upgraded anymore, upgrade the town hall to the next level, and so on, so on. I don't know. I know some people are not going to like that plan, but actually I think that's one of the better plans to do it. Um, but the other thing I'm not doing is attacking. Um, I only have 20, um, stars or whatever, tr tiny, 20 trophies right now because somebody attacked me and I won the defense. Uh, but I'm going to try to limit my attacking on other players, just so I can concentrate on working on my base instead of, um getting a high a bunch of trophies and then get attacked at the same time because um, like what I did with jungle heat is I didn't think of that before when I first started jungle heat and I just tried to attack a bunch of people now that I'm high rating a lot of people attack me and I keep losing money and money more and more money and I haven't upgraded my defenses enough so I'm not going to do that in this one I'm going to try to not do any attacks until I know I have a good strong defense or good base setup and then I will start doing attacking because then uh, once I actually do get my base completely, pretty much completely done, and I start attacking, I'm going to be able to take out bases like no tomorrow, and then I can get a bunch of gold, and then I'll be able to uh, upgrade the walls even more and more. But I was watching a video, and somebody said it like, takes, um, like, upgrading to a level 11 wall takes like $20 in gems, or something like that, so that is going to be ridiculous. Um, I'm not obviously going to do that, so... When, I'll probably just upgrade all the walls to like 8 or 9 and then upgrade the whole entire base first so once everything's done with the base I'll start upgrading the walls last um, so yeah we'll see how much they cost at, at that high level because I'm not sure um, but yeah that's basically all I've been doing I uh, hope you guys will stick around to watch me play this more um, and if you guys have suggestions or whatever let me know in the comments because um, I definitely like to see what you guys think about this game. Because I'm sure a lot of you know more about this than me. So I want to see what you guys think. Um, and basically, that is it for this episode. And then I obviously got to put more walls in too. I have... I'll be able... Yeah, I'll probably do that too. I'll put a bunch of walls in. I'll probably just put the walls in like on the side here. And just upgrade them on the side. Because um, I don't really need the walls probably. Once um, I have a stronger defense. Because obviously I'll upgrade... I'm going to obviously upgrade these, but when somebody attacks me, they're basically just going to have, like, the first couple troops, so um, they won't be able to take out too much stuff with um, these upgraded 
stuff. So I'll probably just put the walls that I add later on the side over here and um, upgrade them then. But um, I'm glad that this game came out. Came out. Um, I'm not sure what I like better now that I'm actually playing it. Um, it's definitely between Jungle Heat. I mean, Jungle Heat's good, but they definitely don't have as much. I mean, it's, Jungle Heat's more similar to this than Castle Clash. Um, but Jungle Heat doesn't have all the features that Ca Clash of Clans does, but I definitely know that they're adding in features like this. I know they're going to have heroes or whatever like they do in this game. Um, like if you go to the defenses, you have, um, was it defenses or army? It's in their army. Um, you have the Barbarian Queen, Archer King, Archer Queen, and I'm pretty sure they're going to be adding something like that into Jungle Heat. So <clears throat> those five heroes or whatever they had, I think they're going to be those guys. I'm not sure if they're going to have all five or not because they've been posting things like, like for this guy or share for this guy. So I don't know if they're choosing between guys or not, but. Um, we'll see in the future what they do with that hero thing. But um, pretty much that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, today is my birthday, so I'm going to try to do some stuff before I go back to class later tonight. But anyways, um, that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. My name's Dale. Peace out.